first we will see teaching and examination scheme there are total 7 subjects in the 5th semester fourth subject is public health engineering its course abbreviation is phe course code is 22504 there are weekly 3 lectures and practicals of 2 hours per batch total 5 credits for this particular subject we have theory examination of 70 marks the duration for this theory examination is 3 hours the passing criteria for the theory examination is minimum 28 marks out of 70 marks there are two tests conducted per semester which carries 20 marks each after completion of class test average of the two test is taken and it is added to the micro project marks and you will get marks that is out of 30 marks in the theory progressive assessment it carries total 100 marks for theory it also has a practical examination there is external oral practical examination of 25 marks at the end of semester the minimum passing marks for the practical examination is 10 marks out of 25 marks again there is progressive assessment for practical that is term work it means during the semester you will have to perform total 12 experiments or practicals these practicals will be assessed during the semester each practical carry 25 marks and finally the term work will be given out of 25 marks and the minimum passing criteria is 10 marks therefore for practicals it carries total 50 marks after adding theory and practical marks the grand total becomes 150 marks public health engineering carries total 150 marks the semester has total 1000 marks rational of the subject this subject has been introduced in the diploma syllabus because as a civil engineer we are constructing simultaneously we must take proper care of our nature so to understand the different aspects of environment we study public health engineering the environment and public health engineering works for minimizing the impact of engineering and technology on the natural resources to keep the environmental balance which gets affected by technological upgradation rapidly increasing urbanization is stretching resources and infrastructure and threatening environmental quality in this era of rapidly growing population and technology we should use limited resources judiciously to ensure minimum adverse effect on environment to maintain better public health one must have safe quality of drinking water supply effective methods for disposal of domestic and industrial waste and pollution free environment need of clean and safe drinking water is a basic of life and proper disposal of waste water also adds on for green and healthy environment the detailed knowledge about various sources of supply that is water supply quality parameters of public health that is public water purification 
and conveyance of water will be useful in planning suitable water supply scheme for town or cities proper knowledge of sources purification and conveyance that is transportation of water allows useful planning of water supply scheme topics on domestic sewage conveyance of sewage in sewers analysis and treatment of sewage will be useful for safe disposal of this waste proper knowledge of analysis and treatment and transportation of sewage results in proper sewage disposal emerging trends in sanitation and water supply will provide latest know to the students updation is a form of increased knowledge with value thus the subject will be helpful in bringing up general public health to desired safe level in respect of water supply and disposal of waste public health is considered from aspects of water supply and disposal of waste competency now we will use a c competency of the course that the student will inculcate after the completion of this course the aim of this course is to help the student to attain the following industrial identified competency through various teaching learning experiences the competency for public health engineering is execute the efficient water supply and sanitation system course outcomes course outcomes are the factors that the student will learn after the completion of the course there are total 5 course outcomes which represent respective 5 units of this course first course outcome is c 504.1 identify the sources and characteristics of water and waste water for disposal of waste water and to use the water in a better and easily accessible manner we study its sources and characteristics second course outcome is 504.2 estimate the quantity of drinking water and waste water generated estimation of water means knowing the quantity of drinking water that will be provided to the users estimation of waste water means or which is required for calculating the size of pipes which is used for disposal of sewage third course outcome is c 504.3 draw labeled system of plumbing for building sanitation for understanding plumbing in detail fourth course outcome is c 504.4 draw the flow diagram for process of treatment of waste water and water for understanding process of treatment of water and waste water in detail fifth course outcome is c 504.5 identify various accessories for efficient conveyance and distribution of water transportation and distribution of water to the users in a better and effective way practical outcomes or practicals that student have to perform during the course study there are total 16 practicals outcomes 
as shown in the table out of which we have to complete total 12 practicals respective unit number for practical outcomes is also represented by the table each student will be given apparatus or instruments each student will be given with procedure formula calculation and other necessary details to perform practicals now we will see syllabus there are total 5 units first unit is sources quantity and quality of water source of water surface and subsurface sources of water table that is intake structure definition and types factors governing the location of an intake structure types of intakes quantity of water need to protect water supply flow diagram of water supply scheme function of units demands of water factors affecting rate of demand variation of water demands forecasting of population methods of forecasting of population simple problems of forecasting of population design period estimating of quantity of water supply required for city or town quality of water need for analysis of water characteristics of water physical chemical and biological testing of water for total solids hardness chlorides dissolved oxygen ph fluoride nitrogen and its compounds Bet- bacteriological test e coli b coli index mpn sampling of water water quality standards as per is 10500 we have respective unit wise unit outcomes second unit is purification of water in this unit we will cover purification of water screening types of screens aeration objects and methods of aeration plain sedimentation sedimentation with coagulation principles of coagulation types of coagulants jar test process of coagulation types of sedimentation tanks clary calculator filtration theory of filtration classification of filters slow sand filter rapid sand filter pressure filter construction and working of slow sand filter and rapid sand filter disinfection objects methods of disinfection chlorination application of chlorination that is chlorine forms of chlorination types of chlorination practices residual chlorine and its importance orthotoladin test flow diagram of water treatment plants miscellaneous water treatments water softening defluoridation techniques advanced water treatments electrolysis reverse osmosis third unit is 
कन्वेंस एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वॉटर इन दिस यूनिट वी विल कवर कन्वेंस टाइप्स ऑफ पाइप यूज फॉर कन्वेंस ऑफ वॉटर चॉइस फॉर पाइप मटेरियल टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट टाइप्स ऑफ वॉल्व देर यूज लोकेशन एंड फंक्शन ऑन अ पाइपलाइन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वॉटर मेथड्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वॉटर ग्रेविटी पंपिंग एंड कंबाइंड सिस्टम सर्विस रिजर्वर फंक्शन एंड टाइप्स लेआउट्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वॉटर डेड एंड सिस्टम ग्रीड आयन सिस्टम सर्क्यूलर सिस्टम रेडियल सिस्टम देयर सुटेबिलिटी एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस यूनिट फोर इज डोमेस्टिक सीवेज एंड सिस्टम ऑफ सीवरेज इन दिस यूनिट वी विल कवर बिल्डिंग सैनिटेशन necessity of sanitation necessity to treat domestic sewage definitions sewage salage types of sewage definitions of the terms related to building sanitation water pipe rain water pipe soil pipe salage pipe vent pipe building sanitary fittings water closet indian and european type flushing cistern wash basin sinks urinals trap types quality of good trap system of plumbing one pipe two pipe single stack choice of system principles regarding design of building drainage layout plan for building sanitation fittings drainage plan inspection and junction chambers their necessity location size and shape maintenance of sanitary units systems of sewerage and sewer appurtenances types of sewers self leaning velocity and non scoring velocity laying testing and maintenance of sewers manholes and drop manhole component parts location spacing construction details sewer inlets street inlets fifth unit is characteristics and treatment of sewage in this unit we will cover analysis of sewage characteristics of sewage bod cod and its significance aerobic and anaerobic process maharashtra pollution that is maharashtra pollution control board norms for the discharge of treated sewage object treatment and its flow diagram treatment of sewage screening grit removal skimming sedimentation of sewage sludge digestion trickling filters activated sludge process disposal of sewage oxidation pond oxidation ditch septic tank details and design criteria recycling and reuse of domestic waste question paper specification table the table represents various marks carried by each unit first unit carries 12 marks out of which four marks or of r level r level means remember level eight marks are for u level u level means understanding level and for particular first chapter that is first unit application level has no marks allotted 
Similarly, unit two carries eighteen marks. Unit three carries ten marks. Unit four carries eighteen marks. Unit five carries twelve marks. In this way, the question paper will be of seventy marks for theory examination. Learning resources. This is the list of books that we will refer in this course study. First, Environmental Engineering, Volume One and Volume Two, Garg S K, Khanna Publications, Khanna Publishers, New Delhi. Second. Water supply and sanitation engineering. Birdy G S, Birdy G J S, Dhanpat Rai and Sons. Third, environmental pollution control engineering. Rao C S, New Age International Private Limited, Publishers. Fourth. Environmental engineering, technologists, George McGraw, Hill Publishers.